Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where, of course, every day is a... Train show! Got it. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some new items, so hopefully we'll find our way on your layout. And last time, we did an all-scale train show. Well, guess what? Today, we're doing an all Atherin show. That's right. Everything you see in today's show is going to be made by Atherin. Are you excited, Engineer Hall? Super side. Got some good things for today. Woo! And we're going to start with N-Scale. We're going to make our N-Scalers happy. We're going to be taking a look at the NACC 50-foot boxcars. So let's check these out from Atherin. I think they're really cool. I have a couple of different run names for your consideration here. I really like the colors of these design cars. You know, I like a lot of trains. I have a lot of colors to them. I particularly like the look of this penguin one there. Hey, you think there's penguins inside of there? Mm. Maybe. How about this one? You think there's ham inside of that one? Hmm. I don't know. But these are really cool looking cars here, and I really enjoyed the design of them. They are built good. They roll great. Let's go in for a little closer switch here. i got to take a look at that penguin there because I really like this one here. As you can see, I have all the great things that you have expect from an Atherin car there. All the nice quality. That's a really neat looking design there. Let's take a look at the side there. Got a little brake wheel there. Let's look underneath the car. In case you're terrible and derail your trains, so that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Looks good here. Now, these N scale boxcars retail for $37.99. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $29.99. It's a cool deal to get on a bunch of boxcars. Everyone needs boxcars, right, Engineer Hall? No, we're going to have too many. Ooh. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these cars rolling on your rails today. I think you're going to like them. You know, speaking of not having enough boxcars for our HO fans, I got some boxcars for you. Woo! Let's get some boxcars. Boxcars! Woo! And we have here a whole bunch of different versions here. And then these are 50-foot boxcars here from Athens. I really enjoy the look of these cars here. Again, the colors are really nice. Nice quality here. So I got a couple different variations here. I like these plug door boxcars that I have right here. Got the N and W. We got the Conrail, and finally we got the British Columbia Railway. Now let's go in for this rail box and for a little closer inspection, just like we expected from the N scale. The H O car is no exception to the detail roll. Got a lot of nice detailing happening there. There's my brake wheel, and if you're a bad engineer, <laughs> there's the bottom there. These are just cool looking cars here, and again, no one can have enough box cars here. So I think you really need to get some of these. Engineer Hall, how many of these are you gonna get? Uh, maybe like six or seven for today. Very nice. All right, all right. So the retail value of these cars is thirty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for thirty dollars and thirty-nine cents. So again, no one can have enough box cars here, and especially get some nice modern railroads here. I think you need to get these on your railroad. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these rolling today. You know, we've been doing the show for a while here, and we get a lot of great comments. I thought I would read some of these comments from our, our last videos. You want to hear some of them, Engineer Hall? So what do we have? All right, so this one person said that loves the show, thinks Engineer Hall does a fantastic job on this channel. Oh, thank you. Christian thank you. And, and Ken are really funny, and they're really neat. Right. Could do without the host. That's a little harsh. Guess I should have proofread that first. All right. Well, thanks for the comments. Anyway, we're gonna be taking a look at some tank cars here, and these are actually three packs that we have here from Atherns. Here, these are the thirty thousand gallon ethanol tank car packs, and I opened up one of them to show you what they are. Here, this is the ADM. Now, these are really nice looking cars here. And Engineer Hall was pointing out the details here, so I'm gonna let him tell him because he I'm gonna miss something. So, what do you notice here? Well, I know it's about to take out the package. You got the FRB flecting tape here, or some say stripes. Um, also, at the end there, you have your double shelf couplers with the correct uh, style of uh, etched metal walkways there. So, it looks pretty good. And the lines look uh, straight. And also, with the detail on top with the uh, road name and uh, road number, and also with the uh, manway covers looks pretty good and on the bottom had this uh, outlet there you go so it's a pretty good uh, looking car very nice and these are three packs i got a couple of different varieties here here's a couple of different other options that you have here we have the met and i got the union tank car company here of course more can be found on our website yankeedabbler.com but these are just really nice looking cars here if you're looking for a modern tank car here maybe you have some ethanol you need to transport on your railway well come get that oh i like the little warning labels there these are really nice, and they're pretty heavy, too, Engineer Hall. I was surprised how heavy these things are. Now, the retail value of these three-pack is $131.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $105.59. So, come get these tank cars here. You know, you always throw in the Engineer Hall discount, save a little money on that, and that way you can get multiple tank cars, because if you save money, what can you spend it on? More tank cars, right? Bigger train. Oh, yeah. So, come in the Yankee Dabbler and get these tank cars. I really enjoy these. Get them rolling today. 
All right, so I got more of these comments here because they're all pretty good. So I just must have just looked at a weird one. This one's really cool. All right, love the Engineer Hall channel. Love all the things that Engineer Hall puts up. Thank you. Ken and Christian are really funny. Mm -hmm. What's with the host? Though? Nothing he says is funny, and I don't like him at all. Why are you not, re not proofreading this stuff? I don't know. I'm just going down the list. All right, this one. Very good. The e &H Railroad is one of my favorite railroads I've ever seen. There Thank you go. You. All right. Could do Work less. in progress. Yeah, I want less of DJ, though. D Stop reading comments. You, you're, you're, it's not working out well for us. Ah, this one. We've been trying to reach you about your lawn. Okay, that's something else. All right, anyway. So what we have happening here is we got some new diesel locomotives that hopefully are going to be pulling some of those freight cars that we looked at here. And we got some SW1000 for your consideration. Let's check this out from, again, Athern here. Now I have here, I took out the Burlington. Now you might be wondering, how come you're not taking a whole bunch of these out? Well, as much as I would like to, Athern, what they do is they actually seal these for, I guess, freshness. But... They had there the seal quality, so I don't want to break that because obviously we're trying to sell these. But I have them uh, a whole bunch of different road names for your consideration here. For example, this here is the Denver and Rio Grande. I really enjoy that. This is a really nice patch job here. This is a BNSF. I guess it was a former former BN engine that's now BNSF. Which one is this one? This is the Via Rail. And then finally, I got here the what's this? The S and S Short Line Leasing. Very good. Well, let's take a look at this Burlington, for example, here. Now, the one thing that I really enjoy here, look at this Windows Engineer Hall. Aren't those really cool? I love seeing the look of the design there. The front of this engine looks really good, too. For whatever reason, the SW1000, I think, is just a really striking-looking engine. Look at the back there. Look at that Engineer Hall. I love that. What is that? What do you got in there? Oh, yeah, that's the, um, you pull the handle in there. That dumps the uh, emergency valve right there. That's cool. Even the bottom of this engine looks pretty good, too. So these engines are really nice. And if you're looking for like a yard switcher to pull on your railroad here, I got these engines for your consideration. So I'm very excited to see what they sound like. So let's get started. Now let's take a listen to what the bell sounds like. Let's take a listen to the horn. Boxcar train out. Hey, don't you can't feel good at this. I am. <laughs> Bringing the cars into the customer siding. That one's full of all of Engineer Hall stuff. And that one. And that one too. That one. That one's mine. That's Dakman's. That's a cool sound of diesel locomotive here. It reacts really good here. And I just love, for whatever reason, road switchers to some of my favorite diesel locomotives. So I think this SW100, or 1000 rather, fits the bill for what you're looking for. Now the retail value of this diesel locomotive is $319.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dow, but for $255.99. It's a good deal to get on this engine, considering it also has Tsunami 2 Engineer Hall. The LED. Ooh, very good. So it's a really nice engine to get on your rails, so come get this shunting cars on your rails today. Why doesn't Engineer Hall host everything? Enough of DJ already. Why don't you try a gardening show? Ah, there you are. DJ's doing great. Love mom. Ma, come on. Oh, mom counts. Yeah, Show that to her son. See you at work next week. What? I don't understand. Hi, DJ. Go away. Uh -huh. Anyway, I guess the comments were a bust. Hey, well, yeah, hey, uh, I think something just went missing. It always does. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at some more multi packs here, and these are ballast cars here. I'm going to get the exact uh, wording correctly. These are the 40 foot outside brace. 
Balance Hoppers. Check out these cars here. Again, from Atherin. And this is the Frisco set. Now, again, these are sealed for quality protection. So I got a lot of them inside the box. However, I did take out one that I think Engineer Hall is going to be taking home with them. What do we got here? We got the Norfolk Center. You ever hear of that, Ray Road? No, I never heard of them. Oh, uh, well, they're pretty good. These are really nice looking cars here that we have here. But of course, if you're not an NS fan, I have a couple of different road names for your consideration. I really like up here this Union Pacific, this kind of teal jade green color. I think that's pretty cool here. We got the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe. We have here the Southern Pacific and the New York Central. Now, these multi-packs here are really cool, and I love the fact that if you're looking for a nice long ballast tray, this could be the option for you. As you can see, I have a nice ballast load happening there. I do have die-cast metal wheels here. I like the detail in there on the various different uh, chutes that I have there. These are just really nice looking cars here, and especially if you want to create a nice long ballast train, we got the option for you. Now, of course, if you're looking for just the individual cars, I also do have a couple of them in individual, but most of what we have here are the multi-packs here because let's face it, no one just has one ballast car really on their train. They have a whole bunch of them. So I think these are really great looking cars here. As I said, I think Engineer Hall is going to be taking some of them. The retail value of these cars here, they sell for $149.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $119.99. Or, of course, if you just want an individual one to put on your rails, we sell them here. For, uh, they retail for $42.99, and they retail, or we're selling them, rather, for $34.39. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these cars rolling today. I think you need some ballast being tamped on your railroad. Are you still reading comments? No, they're all terrible. I think you should read one more. Did you write something nice about me? Maybe. I think Ken should talk more about diesels on the show. Oh, I like that one. That's not a great idea. What? What? Tell me what your idea about that is. Well, did you know that Norfolk Southern and Conrail inherited about 12 SD38s from Penn Central? Oh, no, that's a good fun fact. Anywho, let's take a look at SD38s while we're here, here, because we have some SD38s from Atherin once again, and I took out one of my favorites, Engineer Hall. Is this a surprise? No, it's not a surprise. All right, so I got here the Reading and Northern, the number 2000, the engine I've actually seen. And this is a really cool look of diesel locomotive. They still run this. And as a matter of fact, there's two versions of the Reading and Northern. They also have a paint scheme that was representing the 20th anniversary of the railroad there commemorated on the patch there it was actually in 2003 hence the number 2003 but i got a couple of different versions here for your consideration here including the dt and i then i got a bunch of different conrail versions here with various different patchworks oh wait i'm sorry that's no folk southern it's a conrail with a patchwork it's no folk for southern. norfolk southern there you go all right which one's this one? Another Norfolk Southern. All right, another Pesha. Norfolk. Got to make sure. How about this one? Is this one Conrail? Yeah, it's a regular Conrail. Oh, good. Conrail. Conrail. Okay. We have here the Best Samaritan, of course, the Grand Trunk. Well, these are just really cool looking diesel locomotives here. I think the SD38s are a little bit under uh, appreciated in model railroading. You always see an SD40. But this is a little bit different locomotive here. It's a little bit different design here. What do you notice is the main difference, Engineer Hall, between this and, say, an SD40 or SD50? SD40 uh, dash two to me is the uh, walkway in front to me. Oh, actually, this don't have a diameter brake neither. No dynamic brakes. Uh, okay, it does have dish lace, which is really nice. Yeah, it's a good addition to it. I like all that. right, very cool. So this is a little bit of difference, and I think we all need a little different on the railroad. We all can't have the same engines, right? So let's run here this Reading and Dorna and see what it sounds like. Let's take a listen to the bell. Hold the horn. Let's get started.
That was a great sound. A diesel locomotive. It looks great, too. I think you definitely need it. Now, these have the economy decoders inside of it. So the retail value of these diesel locomotives are $239.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $191.99. So it's a cool deal to get on these engines. I really love that Reading and Northern. I think you could also pair it up with the uh, 20th anniversary version, too, so you can have a couple of Reading and Northerns on your railroad. Or, of course, have various of uh, Norfolk Southern slash Conrail uh, units there. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Let's get some SD38s pulling trains on your railroad today. So let's take a look at all the things that we had in today's all Atherin show here. Let's check this out. I got a whole bunch of trains. This is exciting. Let's start with the rolling stock here. We had these boxcars here that I absolutely thought they were awesome. This is different colors, especially the end scale ones. If we take a look here. That's Love. my favorite one. What? That's my favorite the one. The yellow one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you might like this yellow one too, the end scale one here. I have a whole bunch of different end scale uh, boxcars there. I had here these 30,000 gallon ethanol tank cars. I had these ballast cars in multiple different four packs. Of course, I have a couple of individuals. I had here these SD38s, and I had here these SW1000s. But of course, if you're looking for something else that you didn't see in today's show, well, that's all right. Go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in the search bar what you're looking for. Hopefully, we have it so we can get it sent to you and you can have hours of hours of rare fun. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on everything that we have. It's 2024, as I said last time. So it's a new year, new trains, new you, new everything on your railroad to go with all your old stuff. It's going to be a great year. I can feel it. All right. Well, we're going to conclude today's rail fan video with a, a trip to Altoona. Of Pennsylvania, where you're going to see a Norfolk Southern freight train going down the line. That's a whole bunch of cars. You could comment in the, in the YouTube page how many cars you counted. I can only go up to like 10. So, yeah. Mm, I'm, I'm going to say uh, 130. 130. All right. So, we got 10, 130, somewhere in the middle there. All right. So, now if you excuse me, I got to uh, try to find some, some good YouTube comments. And there we go. Ah, this one guy just got a comment here. This one guy says, DJ is absolutely hilarious, and I think he should definitely get some more screen Tim. I feel like you. Time. Screen time. Okay? So. Is that true? No. No. Are you it's, sure? It's by guy, some guy called DJ H. Uh, uh, Larry it's not, it's Jones. It's familiar. Larry Jones. Larry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you are. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you very much for all the very nice comments. I greatly appreciate it. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to uh, take all my trains here, and I'm going to uh, make a nice big mess. How about that? Do you like that, Engineer Hall? No, not with my cars. Definitely oh, not. Oh, yeah. Well, you're taking those. All right. Well, I'll take all the ones that you're not taking, all right? Sound better. Sounds but, good. No, but then I don't think anybody's going to like that because you're going to mess their cars up. They're going to like the same thing that I like, too. They're going to want them. All right, fine. I'll just pack them away nicely, and we'll sell them to our customers, okay? There you go. Except for the Reading and Northern, as you know. That one's mine. Take care, everyone. Hey, you know that just go, right? <laughs>